Hello friends, foes, other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today we are going to be building a level 5 character. And uh, this one is going to be our very first 5 level character, and uh, it's going to be an orc, an orc from Volo's Guide. So uh, it's going to have a minus, and if you look at the stats, you can pretty much tell where I put the, uh, the uh, yeah, you know, the where you, uh, you, you, yeah. It's the lowest level there, so we're gonna we're gonna say he's not super intelligent, but that's okay. Um, he's a barbarian. He doesn't need to be intelligent. He's a berserker, and uh, he's an outlander. So let's start with uh, let's start with the orc stuff. So his speed is thirty, and then um, he has dark vision. And I'm amongst the people that are kind of upset that orcs aren't more like half orcs. Um, <clears throat> there's there's a lot of things that could have been taken better there. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, aggressive. So aggressive is an orc ability, which um, is a bonus action. I didn't spell aggressive right, but there we go. Okay, <clears throat> and my cheat seat says move up to your movement toward an enemy. Enemy. There we go. Um, that you can see or hear. <clears throat> the description in the book is a little longer, but it's also kind of more knowledge or more information that you really need. All right. Let's see. Menacing. Uh, I don't need to put down menacing because all it is is a, from what I can tell, it's a proficiency in intimidation. Um, it says you are trained in the intimidation, but the, what does that mean? It, I'm assuming you're proficient in it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Powerful build. Um, this is the same as like Goliaths and and uh, oh dwarves. I think dwarves have this. Um, powerful build. Um, and that would be one size larger than. Or larger for weight capacity ETC. All right. Yeah. Carrying capacity weight. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and that is all I have for the orc cheat sheet. Um, so we'll put that there. Now let's do the background. Um, let's see. So, for the background, Outlander, you have Athletics, and you have Survival. Cool, cool. Um, he's going to be a Trapper, so we'll just put that here. T-R-A-P-P-E-R. -E kind of a... <clears throat> kind of a... Not a loner, per se. Um, but he's going to have a bit of a... Uh, more of a connection with the land kind of thing. Almost druid, but he's not gonna have a totem. He's going to just be connected with the spirits of the forest and of of nature and rock and you know, he's he's a down to earth orc. So let's let's take a look at this. Um his personality trait is a one oh no, he he's a hmm. actually this We'll start here. This is an ability he has. Um, wander. Um, can find food and water for up to six um, people. <clears throat> um, each day. If they 
can be found. Um, and then also, here, let's do this. Um, remembers general layout of terrain settlements and features not sure how useful that's going to come in but it makes sense so <clears throat> back to his trait um basically how i see him living is he has stories i have stories that help me remember important information. So basically he goes through life kind of um, creating maxims for himself so he remembers them because he doesn't have intelligence enough to, you know, like really remember things. So he uses his wisdom to just kind of come up with a way so then he, he, it helps him remember, like, like putting the, the names of the presidents to a song or something. You know, just that kind of idea behind him. Um, his ideal is he must not fail the spirits. So the, I must not fail the spirits. And these spirits are um, not necessarily good spirits. They're just things that come upon him and give him visions and stuff which we will cover later um right here with his bond which is <clears throat> the spirits give me visions that oh no uh oh no that tell of terrible things past present and future all right so this would be a really fun character for a dm to be able to to play with now when it comes to making characters you really want to pay attention to what your dm is trying to do and make sure that what you're making fits his story and vice versa he needs to be like what are you interested in playing in you know, what kind of world, what kind of adventure are you interested in playing in? But you also have to, you know, ask him, like, would it be okay if I had a character that had visions and stuff like that? Because DMs, at least really creative ones, really like to, like, land on those hard and be like, oh, okay, this character has visions of things. I can really create a lot of exposition and we don't have to have awkward role play between people to figure out how things work. So, you know, I would be happy to have this kind of character in my game, as long as all of them weren't like this. Because <laughs> that would be hard to uh, keep up with. Alright, um, so his flaw. Um, and I rolled for all of these. I've changed them a little just so they fit for this character. Um, but his is uh, caution is what keeps us from... Pleasing the spirits. So basically what he has decided in his mind, Kurd Alfinger, is um, that uh, if you second guess yourself, then you're not trusting the spirits and the spirits will punish you for that. Um, you know, uh, fortune favors the bold in a different feel. Um, kind of interesting, I think. All right. So that's my cheat sheet for Outlander. Pretty simple. Now it's going to get a little more complicated. Here we go. Um, first off, we're going to do HP. And um, what I did is I calculated the HP already. Um, I rolled four D12s because that's what the Barbarian has. Uh, let's go uh, five D12. Um, those are his hit dice that he has. And um, what I came up with was a pretty average thing. I rolled some low and some high, and they kind of came out the way 
Not at you, Mike. So, um, he is at um, 16 plus 52, which would be 68. All right. So he is at 68 right now. 68. Why is this popping up? Thank you. Um, all right. Actually, I shouldn't put current hit points in ink, but life continues. Um, all right. So his proficiencies. Armor. Um, so that would be light and medium and shield. <clears throat> cool. Weapons. Um, that would be simple and martial. Simp martial. All right. Next. Saving throws, strength, and constitution. These are going to be stinking huge because those are the things I really maxed out on. So that's going to be really good. Especially if he goes up against something with poison or something. Um, his constitution should be able to take care of him. And his strength, um, strength saving throws will keep him from getting knocked over, I think. <clears throat> um, Alright. Skills, perception, and nature. Oh, I didn't write down what languages he's good at. Oh, well, I know what they are. Common and work. There we go. Uh, what, would I, what was I going to do? Oh, skills. All right. Um, his skills here are perception and nature. Um, it was kind of interesting because intimidation, athletics, and survival are all barbarian skills. Um, but they are also granted by the race and the background. So... So we went with that. I think the one I didn't take was animal handling, and I don't really think that he'd be fantastic at animal handling. However, the way I de define animal handling is you are good at, like, picking up animals and not hurting them. You know, like, if you wanted to grab a snake, you could grab it and, and yeah, I think, I think it would work that way. Um, all right, so let's go with equipment. He doesn't have much, but that's okay. Uh, great sword. Oh. This thing. All right. G. Sword. We'll, we'll remember what that is. And I think that's a 2d6 plus... Okay, we'll, we'll just... We'll just do it now. Um, uh, strength is that, and then the proficiency is plus two. So strength is plus three. So three. Two d6 plus three is not bad. Great sword attack bonus is plus five. <clears throat> Nothing to sneeze at. Cool. Um, all right, next he has two hand axes. And X. All right, cool. Um, and since this can be three slash plus five. All right, and that that looks like. Eh? Eh? Okay, kind of, kind of works. All right. I'm not really happy with how this doesn't fill out and shrink the things on every box. It's kind of annoying. Um, Alright, so that I think is 1d6. Let me double check that. Clink, clink. Dig in my books. Open this up. Weapons. Weapons. Hand axe. 1d6, that's what I thought. 1d6 plus, um, and that would be 1 or 3, depending on if you're throwing it or if you're just hitting with it. Javelin. <coughs> um, two. I 
can't. Ah, I can't put the number there. Um, four. Okay, so we have that. Um, all right, javelins. I think are d6 piercing. Yep, one d6. So I'll put that down for now. I've got some other things I need to look up in it, but we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, so same thing. I don't think. Um, yeah, javelins are not completely, yeah, they're not completely, uh, the same thing, so, or completely different, so, da, da, da. go here, and five, perfect, and one d6 plus one uh, or three. Cool. All right. So they can be thrown as well, or they can be used hand to hand. Sounds good. All right. Next. Uh, explorer pack. Explorer pack. And let's just put the reference page thing there. That is number 151. One five one PHB. Cool. All right. Next. Um, that's all the equipment. So he has no armor. That's fine. <clears throat> now here we go. Rage. Rage. That is a bonus action. Um. And uh, honestly, my, my cheat sheet, I kind of skimped on this. I, I just said, yeah, you can find out how many times you can do that by going to the Barbarian page on your thing, um, which isn't useful when I'm writing things down. So at fifth level, you have, oh wait, at fifth level, his uh, proficiency is up a little. That's a three now. Okay, that makes a difference. So that is a six, 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 four, four. All right, doesn't change that though. We're good. All right, so um, he gets at fifth level, he gets three rages. Um, three. And. What rages do? Um, if not, oh, let's do this. If not wearing heavy armor, um, advantage on STR checks. Advantage on strength checks. Melee. Yeah. Oh, I need to put a dash there to separate. Melee attacks. Or strength attacks. STR attacks. Um, have a damage. Bonus. All right, <clears throat> and that would be. Let's go back to our our chart here. For fifth is still plus two. It goes up after ninth. Interesting. Okay. Plus two. Resistance to blood -ing. Wow, I spelled it right. That's that's kind of a miracle. Bludgeoning piercing. Uh, well, I couldn't hit all of them. Piercing doesn't need to be capitalized. Piercing 
and slashing damage. Slashing damage. I have a problem with capitalization, as you can tell. There we go. Um, all right, and uh, here we go. Let's, uh, no casting or consen consen concentrate. How do you concentrate? Yep, concentrate. Creation. Consen. T R A T I O N. There we go. Or. Uh, okay, well. You're seeing me as I am. All right, so here we go. Uh, last one minute. Or until you are unconscious, unconscious. Unconscious, unconcerned, uncon, unconscious. There we go. Unconscious, or you have not attacked, or taken damage. Whew, rage is really complicated. Well, it's a good thing, though, because, um, yeah, uh, barbarians don't get much. <laughs> All right, so unarmored defense. Defense. Um, that's an S, isn't it? Yep. Unarmored defense. I have here written AC is 15. I'm just going to double check something real quick. That 15 is actually pretty good, even though you know, it means you're going to get hit a lot. It means that your rage will keep going because you get hit. And with the HP that he has, it's, it's kind of good. Um, unarmored defense. Well, you're not wearing any armor. You're armoring. Okay. Constitution modifier plus your dex modifier. That's 15 plus 10. Okay, cool. So, yep, armor class is 1-5. Yep. Pawn, dex, 5 plus 10, 15. Yep. All right. So, that is my level 1 stuff. Let's go on to level 2. Reckless attack. On first attack, you gain advantage. Um... I don't think this takes like an action or anything. I think it's just like I say this and it happens. Um, R E C K L E F. Yep. Attack dash. All right. On first attack, I gain advantage. Um, let's, let's move this down here. Where's that game advantage? Oh. Yeah, man. Attacks against you are, or, no, have advantage. Until your next turn. Cool. Next is danger sense. Danger sense. This is going to be good. Advantage on dex saves against effects 
you can see. All right. Let's move this down here because it still looks pretty dumb. Okay, there we go. Not. Um. Eligible if you are blind, deaf, or incapacitated. Ooh. Let's uh, fix that. Eligible. There we go. All right. And that is level two. So level three is the path of the berserker. We already... Um, put that up here. Um, I took Path of Berserker because uh, totems can get a little complicated. Not really, but they're just a choice that I'd have to make. Whereas Berserker is rather straightforward. So, we'll go with the Berserker. Uh, Frenzy. Uh, why am I putting underscores there? Frenzy. Da-da-da-da. Uh, during rage, yep, make a single attack as a bonus action. That's that's pretty good. After rage ends. Take one point of exhaustion. All right. So that's level three. You get that little doohickey. Not bad. Um, we're going to put Shield Master here, but I'm not going to write down everything that Shield Master does. Um, my idea is Shield Master. Oh, let me just read it for you. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Should I should I start putting things down here? Uh, because this is getting kind of scrunched. Yeah, let's put it down here. Okay. So, um, level four allows you to go up, uh, like add to, to your one of these or add one to two of these or take a feat once again this is something that you have to talk to your dm about um every dm that i've run into is totally fine with using feats i mean they're part of the rules so even even the the rules lawyer kind of people are okay with this because it's it's just feats it's it's, it's another rule that you can throw in there um and uh, apparently I cannot find it. Come on, feats. There we go. Um, and shield master. Um, uh, okay. So let's let's just go with this. Um, we'll put these down here. Um, feet. Shield. Shield. Master. All right. And, uh, if I take the attack action on my turn, use a BA to shove an enemy within five feet. Okay. Uh, let's, let's put the hyphens in to show separation. If not incapacitated add shield 
to shield AC to oh, AC bonus. To a dex saving throw. All right, so this, <coughs> sorry, will really jump into the danger sense as well. I really like how this builds off of it. Um, so not only will I have advantage, hello jingly cat, um, advantage on deck saves, but I get a bonus to them as well. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, that only targets you. Okay. Against an effect that only targets you. Or me. You know, I'll I'll do that. Keep keep the person the same. All right, and lastly, if subject to an effect, hello kitty, um, that allows me to take half damage on a Dex saving throw. Um, let me fix that. Allows. Okay. Um, subject to an effect that allows me to take half of damage, half damage on a Dex saving throw. Let's do a success full deck saving throw. Um, use a reaction to take no damage on a suck. Um, <clears throat> reaction, take no, no, with shield. All right. So that's why I put on my cheat sheet just the page number, but I think I'm going to, uh, yeah. What? Meow. Meow. All right. Um, and lastly, I have level five. Um, and level five is extra attack. Make two attacks um, when using your action here uh, I'm coming what come here come here if you want to sit on my lap come here and of course someone banged in the background so of course you're gonna run away okay thanks goodbye uh, when using an attack action, cool. And lastly, um, fast movement. Um, movement plus 10 speed when not wearing heavy armor. Okay. 
So that is all the things I have to write down. What? Come here. Come here. If you want to eat it, pet, you're going to sit up here. Come on. Okay. Kitties. Alright. So, um, since he's level 5, I'm going to negotiate with my DM to uh, allow him to have a shield because, uh, uh, a shield master is a, a good thing to have a shield with. So we will go and say shield. Wooden shield. And let me just uh, double check the stats on that. I think it's just a plus two, but... You know, it's the internet. People people know better than to assume things like this because then the whole world will come down upon them. Shield, it doesn't matter what kind. It's a plus two. Okay. Um... All right, wooden shield, doesn't matter, but it will pop this up to a 17, which is nice. Wooden shield, yep, okay, cool. Yep, 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 and yep, yep, cool, cool, cool. Now let's uh, put some numbers here. Proficiency is a plus three, you gotta remember that. So, strength is a plus six. Dexterity is a one. Plus one. Uh, let me see. Plus one. Actually, I'll use the number pad. That's easier. Constitution is plus uh, seven. Plus seven. Cool. Intelligence is a minus two. Cool. Wisdom is a plus one. Charisma is zero. All right. Acrobatics plus one. Animal handling plus one. Um, I'm going to actually do this. Copy. Cool. Um, minus two. Athletics is a plus six. Um, deception is a zero. History, minus two. Insight, control V. Intimidation, that is a zero plus three. So that is plus three. Investigation. Minus two, medicine, control V, nature, that is intelligence, plus three, so that is actually control V. Uh, perception is plus four, right? Yeah. And performance is zero, persuasion is zero, religion, minus two, sleight of hand, Control V, Control V, and that is plus four. Cool. Nice. Not bad. Um, he's pretty good at seeing. Good thing we have that perception there. And that is a 14. Um, initiative. That is a plus one. So, probably not going to be first in line. But yeah, so he's not very really, like proficient in a lot of things like musical instruments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I may have misread the uh, background, but I don't think he gets that kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't make sense that he would have another language. Let me double check on this real quick. I, I'm pretty happy with this guy for for a level five. He's he's pretty good. I mean, he can take a lot of damage. Um, and he's. Yeah, he's he's not not bad, not bad at all. Uh, backgrounds, Outlander, right before Sage. Yep. Uh, proficiencies, languages. Oh, he does get one of his choice and hand a musical instrument. Okay, well, evidently I didn't read this. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's finish this up. Staff and trap. Um, trophy. Hmm, what kind of trophy would he have? Like, from a hunt kind of thing. How about his very first pelt? My first pelt. <laughs> Yay. That sounds like a, a 90s toy. Staff trap. Explore pack. Okay, cool. 
Now, what's a uh, orky kind of musical instrument? Hmm. Uh, what about a, a gong? <laughs> He's proficient with a gong. Which, you know, you need some percussive, percussive timing, you know. Yeah, I think that could work. Um, and he has another language. What should we go for? Um, orcs are not friends with dwarves, but it would do one good to know dwarvish. I don't know if he would know it, though. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. He's he, he's super interested in the spirits. So, um, I wonder, is there a list of languages? Um, if I can't find languages right off the bat, then I think it's near the beginning. Like the very beginning. Uh-huh, uh-huh, creating a character, yes. Yes, languages. Hmm. I don't see it right off the bat. Languages, 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 languages. I don't see it right off. Uh, I know it's in these books somewhere. Um, let's. Not primordial. What what would, would the spirits use? Not celestial. Um. Is Fey a language? Fey speak or something? I don't know. I think Arian is. Pretty sure that's a that's a language. I think that's the language of nature and whatnot. So we're gonna go with that. Um, oh well. we'll change that up. All right, so yeah. Ooh, I went into a little bit of a gray still plays there. All right, so we're playing the only game where, um, yeah, yeah. So Curd Owlfinger is done. I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, to making more fifth level characters. Um, hopefully they won't be super terribly long. Uh, this one was almost, uh, well, almost 45 minutes, but uh, yeah, it was fun. So until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out. I'll catch you later.